Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast, and we're going to have a look at a Kickstarter that is going live right about now. So it's going live on the 15th of February, and it is the WA Games Pandemic Army Kickstarter. So it's a triple header. There are three individual teams available on this Kickstarter. Obviously, you can buy them all together. Uh, we've already had a chance to have a look at the Nurgle team. So this Kickstarter is featuring um, Halflings, Nurgle, and Slan. So quite an eclectic mix. Um, we've already looked in detail at the Nurgle team so I'll link that right about here so you can go and watch and have a look at the review of the team really impressed with these uh, the casting quality of the miniatures size is perfect and the casting is 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 some of the best resin I think I've ever seen so really cool to see um, there's a couple of other previews out there on other YouTubes for the Slan team and the Halfling team um, but I imagine the, the quality is about, about the same which is cool so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the Kickstarter look at the price points look at the teams and really just get excited about more teams for Blood Bowl. So we've got the Kickstarter up here, it's Pandemic Army, Play Fantasy Football and Fight for Survival. So like I said, this is by WA Games and WA Games are a Spanish company and the owner is a really, really lovely guy, but the language for English speakers is going to be slightly adrift of where you expect it to be. So some of the words are used a little bit strange if you are a core English speaker. But do not worry about that. The creative design and creative effort that's gone into it is probably the biggest I've seen from any kind of Blood Bowl Kickstarter. And like I said a minute ago, we've looked at the miniatures and the casting quality is again some of the best casting quality of any Blood Bowl miniatures I've seen. So it's really cool to see. Kickstarter-wise, they're going for 1746 pounds so that's not a huge amount 18 days to go so it's going live on the 15th of february so it'll be ending kind of the beginning of march let's have a look at the quick look at the price points so each team is going to be 56 euros which is around about 50 pounds you're going to have for example the nurgle team is going to be seven linemen uh, four Pestigors, four Warriors, and the Pandemic Beast, which is the Rot Spawn. So 16 players, including the big guy. And if you've seen the uh, the video where we looked at the miniatures, you will know that that is actually quite a big guy for £50, essentially. Um, there will be some shipping costs, but there always is on Kickstarter, isn't there? So the Nurgle Army team, £50 for all 16 players, including the big guy. Uh, the Slan team again 56 euros so about 50 pounds seven linemen four runners four blitzers and a croxagore ships in September full team 16 players including your big guy 50 pounds and treehouse village which is the halfling team uh, 10 halflings two runners two hefties and two treemen 56 euros so three of those complete teams really for 50 pounds a pop puts it in a really solid price range for Blood Bowl. Most third party teams end up being like 70 to 80 pounds. Uh, these ones coming in at 50 pounds actually gives a really good um, a really good price point, especially considering you get all the big guys included there, which makes a massive difference when you look at some of the Games Workshop one. Poor Goblin players. So they've got a couple of multiple team bundles here. We've got a double team bundle, which is 106 euros. So this is for two teams, um, and you save a few euros on that one. So any of the three teams, 150 euros. So saving 18 euros now, you get all three teams. That's not fair. In both of these, you can choose the two teams. So if you want two of the Slan teams, and you want three Nurgle teams you can do that so again that's kind of what we see from Kickstarters which is pretty reasonable and those are the options so all of the team levels get these stretch goals so whether you buy one team two teams or three teams or more teams you will get the stretch goals but that is not the very cool thing about this Kickstarter we'll look at the miniatures in a moment but basically they've gone to town here WA Forge um, they have gone to town and created a world for each of their teams, created a backstory for each of the players on that team. And like I said, it's a Spanish company, so the English doesn't translate 100%, but it's perfectly fine for you to read and know what's going on. The fact they've gone to all that effort is amazing. And this thing here, I absolutely love. So do you want to be a hero? Do you want to customize miniature for free? Basically, if you back this Kickstarter, or if you, uh, here we go, back any perk share the post uh, send an email tell us what race you'd like to be in the origin of your character write your Facebook name basically they're offering a chance for you if you if you back this Kickstarter and share that you've backed the Kickstarter 
a chance to get a custom miniature included in the Kickstarter and your story goes in the lore for this background, for this world. And that is actually really cool. So there is a lore book, a lore PDF. In fact, let's have a quick look at that now. Can we drop it over? We can. So we've got art, you've got story, you've got background for the world. Um, it's been really well put together. You've got some of the great art that they've used for the Kickstarter. And I think a little bit down, we can have a quick look. And they've even got like origin comics for some of the players as well. So each of these players basically has got their own backstory. And then we've got origin comics for some of the players. Uh, they, they've put an absolute ton of work into the backgrounds of all these teams. Look at that. I love some of this art. The slan art in particular is fantastic. Um, they've done a really, really solid job. This here is 42 pages long and that's double pages. So, so they've just got they've got more writing and background and art here than you would find in most rule books for games these days and more comics. It's really cool and it's great to see and it's just there for available to download on the um, on their Kickstarter page. But anyway, you are here to look at the miniatures. So let's have a quick look at the teams. So the Pandemic Army team, the Nurgle team, like I said, 16 players. You got the four beastmen, you got the four warriors, and you've got the big pandemic beast along with a billion seven of these weird rotters so one thing to mention is that when it comes to nurgle and we talked about this when we did the unboxing they are disgusting they have got distended body parts they've got open wounds they've got weird mutations it's <laughs> it's really disgusting so if you like that nurgle aesthetic it's kind of um sort of games workshop citadel 90s where they just allowed themselves to be creative and gross when it came to nurgle you know you've got like the little cheeky faces of the nurglings that kind of effect that kind of style they've hit it out the park you've got tentacles everywhere you've got guts everywhere like this would have been an absolute heavy metal dream back in the old days where everything was um goblin green on the base so they've committed to the design when it came to the um, Nurgle team and pulled it off brilliantly we've seen these we've got these the casting quality is superb there's hardly any flash on the miniatures um, they need a little tiny bit of a clean but goes together brilliantly I was actually really impressed when it came to the, the quality um, they got some cool painted up miniatures as well I didn't get to see the slan team so they've gone with a kind of uh, kind of slightly cartoony effect with the slan which actually pulls off really well there's another slan team that's out there that this looks quite similar to uh, there's the fanathrog one and i think is it the, the j-bone slan this one looks a lot like those it looks a lot like the grebo ones as well where it's just frog men and again they've committed to the design the blitzers are pretty cool all the spikes and everything and the croxagore is really awesome and available on its own for nine euros which makes it i think the cheapest croxagore out there big cartoony tongue this is really a, a stylized cartoony kind of kickstarter um that is it's kind of like a hybrid of the 90s games workshop stuff so the second edition blood bowl stuff with the kind of saturday morning cartoons we grew up with i, I it's just it hits home with me i think probably because i'm of that age where that just makes sense uh, and you've got all the different linemen here again seven linemen for the team so full team for 56 euros and it is a full team um, and then you've got the halflings. So the halflings are cool. Each one of them is very individual. So I'll let you go through and have a look because they, they've, <laughs> they've clearly spent a lot of time on these miniatures. You've got a random owl there. You've got bottles. You've got dancing. Uh, they've spent a ton of time being creative with these um, with these little guys. And that's great to see when you've got like an individual team. I mean, every one of these sculpts is individual. So your team is going to end up pretty unique. And the tree men have got little houses on top or little swing sets. Um, again, they've kind of gone with a kind of creepy slash jovial effect. And it's all hand sculpted. So it, it does look hand sculpted, but it is done really well. And the casting quality, again, has been done really well. Now, this is cool. I hadn't seen these. Um, until today when we got the final preview uh, there's some markers and things like that you've got the tree markers you've got extra you've got throwers and things but there's some cool star players so I think we've seen this guy which is the Tolly Glocklinger um, or whatever it's called the, the Nurgle fanatic now some of these are for Blood Bowl 2016 and they haven't made it to Blood Bowl 2020 yet but it doesn't matter because more miniatures are more better um, which is the new ones I saw so another thrower which is cool this 
Uh, <laughs> I'm gutted they didn't show this off earlier. So, rumbling goat skin. We still do not have a miniature for that. Let's see. Can I can I zoom in a little bit? Let's zoom in a little bit. No, I can't. All right, well I tried. Uh, all I've done is skip forward. Anyway, you've got this little dude desperately clinging on to a goat. You've got a little bit of armor there. It's great and it's available for three euros separately so even if you want a couple of the star players or something nice to paint this guy is going to be awesome uh we've got another massive tree here for nine euros um randolph gus mouth like uh, rough uh, pusmore you know and you've got an acorn which is cool you've got a big uh zoat guy here krogan reptile there's a ton of star players whiteman doublehead there is an absolute ton you've got the dwarf uh you've got clearly zog um, you've got Lewd Grip or Lewis Tentacle Man, um, <laughs> which I thought was pretty cool. So there's a ton of stretch goals, and there is a ton of star players for this team, uh, for these teams. Uh, look at that. I, I hadn't seen the coach. That's wicked. And it just goes on and on and on. So I put the link to the Kickstarter below. Do check it out, and they've got more to come. They've, they've done so much. You've got a bunch of add ons as well with dice. I would expect nothing less, but this kickstarter has committed and has just gone all in um to <laughs> to just deliver whether it comes to style creativeness and extra add-ons um i'm really impressed and actually from from talking through with uh, guillermo a great company they just want to make loads of cool blood ball stuff and hey i'm sure you can appreciate that anyway i'm done rambling about this kickstarter i look forward to it smashing its goals hopefully um because they're a it's, it's a great job really all things considered i'm really i'm really impressed with the work they've put in anyway guys i'm going to disappear and we'll be back soon with more blood bowl content thanks for watching thanks very much for watching we really appreciate your support if you want to support the show even further please like and subscribe it really helps us out or come and join us in our patreon uh, link below where you get early access to our content and monthly competitions see you later